You might be surprised to learn that silicon can store lithium 24 times better than graphite, which is why Tesla has added silicon particles to the anode to significantly increase range performance by 20%. Building on this proven achievement, a new generation of battery technology uses fully silicon anodes made from silicon nanowires, promising sustainability and absolute safety. What improvements have been made in silicon battery technology? What innovations have been made in nanowire silicon anode batteries? When researchers first began exploring silicon as a positive electrode for lithium batteries, Tesla also enhanced lithium retention at the positive electrode by adding a small amount of about 5% silicon. This factor has helped Tesla significantly reduce the production cost for each battery cell containing silicon at the positive electrode to $1.20 per kilowatt hour, surpassing the capabilities of current batteries used in electric vehicles. The high-performance battery developed by Amprius, a company specializing in revolutionary silicon anode batteries, boasts double the energy density of the 4680 cell, achieving 500 watt-hour per kilogram compared to 450 watt-hours per kilogram in the older silicon anode version. This game-changing factor could extend the range of the Tesla Model 3 to about 400 miles. With a single silicon atom, it can store four lithium ions, meaning that silicon anodes are 24 times more efficient than conventional lead anodes. It also allows silicon anode batteries to have a capacity of 3,400 mAh per gram, nearly 10 times higher than conventional lithium batteries with lead anodes, which have a capacity of 355 mAh per gram. The motivation behind silicon anode batteries is largely driven by their ability to store more energy than conventional lithium ion batteries of the same weight and volume. However, their increased energy density may also introduce new, distinct risks that could be more dangerous in the event of a failure. Although this technology has been researched and developed by the company for a long time, the issues of silicon swelling during lithium-ion storage have rapidly reduced the lifespan of the batteries. This has driven the manufacturer to explore the development of silicon nanowires. A simple explanation of this technology is that these nanowires are grown within the battery cells at specific distances. As they receive ions transported from the cathode, they increase in size up to a maximum limit. However, they will only grow to a certain size without exceeding permissible limits, similar to how tree canopies expand over time. But the spacing between the trees is determined to prevent the canopies from feeling cramped. Furthermore, this improvement facilitates the transport of ions and electrons over shorter distances, making charging faster compared to traditional graphite anodes with the manufacturer claiming a fast charging capability of 80% in less than six minutes. This is truly a breakthrough in charging, as most of the slowdown in the current electric vehicle trend is due to users' concerns about convenience and speed, similar to filling up a gas tank for internal combustion vehicles in just one to two minutes. Considering the importance of this not only for electric vehicles, but also for all types of energy storage applications, this is indeed a transformative technology. But if you are enjoying this content so far, make sure that you liked the video and join us for daily episodes by subscribing to Techno Creators channel so we can reach 6,000 subscribers. We always appreciate your support. Silicon nanowires offer several advantages over conventional silicon particles used in current battery technologies. First, the nanowire structure not only provides a large surface area, optimizing the absorption of ions from the cathode, but also maximizes the space for electrochemical processes to occur efficiently, ensuring high performance and longevity of the battery. This is a breakthrough in battery technology, promising significant advancements in the automotive and energy storage industries. Second, they exhibit flexibility, capable of bending or stretching without breaking away from the surface. This feature helps prevent the formation of cracks, similar to issues encountered with silicon particles and positive electrodes, which can reduce the efficiency and safety of the battery. As a result, they have addressed the drawbacks of this silicon anode technology with the goal of applying it to electric vehicle and aerospace technologies in the future. Additionally, the materials proposed in this next-generation technology are neither expensive nor difficult to produce. They are the second most abundant component on Earth. 
This helps reduce battery costs and ensures that there will be no supply chain issues in the future. Statistically, over 90% of the world's graphite comes from the Chinese market, and furthermore, the graphite smelling process generates toxic emissions that are 10 times greater than what we think. However, the production of silicon anode technology requires specialized equipment and techniques due to the creation of silicon nanowires. To achieve greater advancements in applications for electric vehicles, Amprius has partnered with companies specializing in the production of silicon nanowires to address the barriers in the manufacturing process, helping to reduce the costs associated with this process. What is the superior heat resistance of silicon anode batteries? Amprius's next-generation battery technology has been tested through impact and penetration tests according to military performance specifications to assess the feasibility of a specific product in combat situations. It passed the test without any smoke or fire effects. When measured with an infrared thermometer, the temperature of the battery cell only increased by 0 to 10 degrees Celsius around the area where the sharp object penetrated. This demonstrates the puncture and fire resistance of the battery when applied to electric vehicles. In contrast, lithium graphite batteries have undergone several tests, resulting in ignition immediately upon impact with sharp objects. Furthermore, the company has made a new claim about its ability to operate effectively in environments as cold as minus 30 degrees Celsius and up to a maximum of 55 degrees Celsius, with results indicating that the battery's performance is not affected by temperature factors. This resilience not only enhances the safety and reliability of electric vehicles, but also broadens their usability in various climates, making them more appealing to a wider range of consumers and industries. As Amprius continues to innovate, their advancements may set new standards in the battery technology sector, paving the way for safer, more efficient energy storage solutions. Why could silicon anode batteries transform the entire EV market in the U.S.? Previously, silicon transformed how we store information, and now it is changing how we store energy. It promises to produce electric vehicles with longer ranges, faster charging, and more affordability compared to those using conventional lead-based anodes in current batteries. Most commercial battery manufacturers view silicon nanomaterials as a solution to issues such as swelling and side reactions. However, the production of nanomaterial-based batteries can be expensive, and their manufacturing requires specialized anode technology that is incompatible with existing large-scale EV battery manufacturing plants. Although Amprius's batteries have performed well in both laboratory and real-world tests, scaling up nanotechnology from the lab to real-world applications can be a challenge, as previously noted. There's much work to be done in the United States to help us lead in the next generation of energy technology. That is why Amprius is currently focusing on suitable applications such as urban air transport. This allows them to demonstrate battery technology performance while addressing current capacity limitations. Now, with scaling up, they have the potential to penetrate other market applications like electric vehicles. At their Fremont facility, Amprius has built a pilot plant with a production capacity of hundreds of kilowatt hours per year. Additionally, electric vehicle manufacturers can use smaller battery packs to achieve a range of 300 to 400 miles with silicon batteries. This will help reduce long-term costs and make the vehicles lighter, especially with the extensive charging network that Tesla has installed throughout the streets of the United States. Essentially, the shift to silicon anode technology not only enhances the performance and safety of batteries, but also aligns with environmentally conscious practices by minimizing the environmental impact associated with lead battery production. With this new move, Amprius's silicon battery technology is set to be mass-produced at a new factory in Colorado, which will be operational in 2025 with an initial capacity of 500 megawatt-hours, with the potential to expand up to 5 gigawatt-hours. This plan will significantly increase Amprius's production capacity and meet the strong demand for high-performance silicon, anode lithium-ion batteries in the United States EV market. How disruptive would the electric vehicle industry be if this battery technology breakthrough were achieved? Share your opinion in the comment. What makes the Tesla Model 2 Redwood only $25,000? First, the Model 2 Redwood uses LFP batteries, 
which reduce manufacturing costs compared to nickel-cobalt aluminum oxide or nickel-cobalt manganese oxide batteries. The total raw material cost for LFP batteries is typically 40% lower than NCA, largely due to the lower cost of iron and phosphate compared to nickel and cobalt. The raw material cost for NCM and NCA batteries is significantly higher due to the need for precious metals, such as cobalt and nickel. This can result in a reduction in battery manufacturing costs per vehicle, ranging from a few thousand to tens of thousands of dollars, depending on the size and version of the vehicle. LFP battery manufacturing technology is typically simpler, which also reduces manufacturing costs by 10 to 20 percent and requires less complex processing steps than NCA or NCM batteries. LFP batteries have a longer life and better heat resistance than NCA, reducing the insurance costs Tesla must cover under warranty. LFP batteries are considered environmentally friendly due to the use of readily available materials and less precious metals, saving about $300. LFP batteries can be considered the most useful and reasonable solution to incorporate into Redwood 2025. It helps reduce the total cost of production, reduce the total cost of Redwood, bringing an effective approach from the customer side. Second, Model 2. Redwood has a simple and effective design, which is said to be smaller than other Tesla models such as Model Y and 3, helping to reduce production and material costs. Effective when operating in crowded urban areas and parking areas with limited space. Despite its smaller size, the Model 2 Redwood is said to carry the spirit of the Model 3 and YY, but still achieve high performance and driving feel, allowing enthusiasts to still own it, but at a cheaper price. The minimalist interior has a 15-inch control screen in the center of the dashboard, using artificial leather materials, and a large luggage space with a capacity of 300 liters. The Redwood has a simpler, more sustainable interior design, but still ensures basic comfort. Third, Tesla takes advantage of tax policies and incentives for electric vehicles to make the Model 2 Redwood attractive and competitive in the market. The company designs vehicles to meet emission standards, tracks the amount of federal tax credits used for its models to optimize the timing of release, and maintains the benefit of the federal tax credit of up to $7,500. It also takes advantage of state and local incentives, such as tax breaks, parking incentives, and other policies to expand its market. Tesla also takes advantage of government policies to expand its supercharger network and incentivize the installation of home charging stations, which earns customers $1,000 for installing a charger. Tesla not only makes the Model 2 Redwood more accessible, but also attracts more potential customers. Finally, Tesla uses a cost reduction strategy, which plays an important role in making the Redwood model affordable. Tesla plans to expand the market and create opportunities for more consumers, while increasing competition with competitors in the same segment. Assuming that 65% of people in the world are interested in this brand, Tesla priced Redwood to increase brand awareness to 80% of people worldwide. Tesla uses a less expensive communication strategy than its competitors, mainly relying on launch events, word of mouth, or social media to attract. What will motivate Tesla to apply this battery technology for Tesla bus? The journey of Tesla's electric bus has garnered attention and sparked much speculation since Elon Musk announced the ambition in Tesla's Master Plan Part 2 in 2016. In this document, Musk emphasized the crucial role of transitioning to electric power not just for personal vehicles, but also for heavy trucks and public transportation systems in densely populated urban areas. With the company's commitment to environmental protection and reducing emissions, the Tesla Mega Project, with a capacity of 300 megawatts, is designed to provide electricity for electric bus depots and is supplemented by solar panels for an independent power grid showcasing Tesla's dedication to sustainable energy solutions. The advantages of electric buses are clear. They help reduce air pollution, operate more quietly, and save costs due to lower electricity prices compared to fuel. In comparison, the operating costs of electric buses can be up to 40% lower than traditional diesel buses. Coupled with KATL's new battery technology, which is promising and cost-effective due to the availability of raw materials from China, the estimated price for the Tesla bus is $120,000. Depending on size and configuration, this price may vary, 
but it remains 10 times cheaper than the collapse of Proterra and 40% cheaper than the electric buses currently operated by BYD, which start at $180,000. The development of the Tesla bus is not only a significant advancement in the transportation sector, but also reflects the company's broader vision for a sustainable future. These efforts not only help improve air quality and reduce costs for cities, but also lay the groundwork for a more modern and efficient public transportation system. As Tesla continues to innovate and expand, there's hope that these solutions will become the new standard in the transportation industry, making a positive contribution to the fight against climate change. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.